Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and this reading I, I'm doing for December 6th, but my intention is always, of course, is for it to be a timeless message to help us come back home to who we truly are in our divine intelligence. Yeah, spiritual essence, spiritual core. Okay, so three cards. Oops. Okay, and this one here. Okay, so we have the um, Seven of Pentacles for the theme, and then flanked by the Ace of Cups reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. Okay, so with the Seven of Pentacles, of course, this is all about nurturing uh, our investments, our we're looking at everything that we've done in the past because the sevens are they're they're the cards all of the sevens in the suits and then also the um the chariot they're ruled by the chariot and the chariot has everything to do with moving forward i like to look at it as as being the card that um that is the guidepost to help us stay centered and move forward in the right way, knowing that uh, every advantage has its disadvantage and there's always a price to pay. So we don't want to move haphazardly forward too quickly, but it's definitely a card of, of success, almost always. Um, you know, unless it happens to be like a travel day and, and you're going too fast. You know, I'm talking about the chariot card because the chariot can can be our vehicles, you know, our cars. And that can be anything from, you know, rollerblades or um, uh, an 18-wheeler <laughs> or getting on a train. Uh, but anyway, or, or a big rock star bus, maybe that, right? <laughs> Any type of like travel by land. Uh, sometimes by air, it's, it's you know, I, I hate to um, limit the meanings of the major arcanas. So, but anyway, that chariot card rules all the sevens uh, in the in the deck, and then the pentacles brings in uh, decisions and tests around uh, what you've been working on to manifest. These could be looked at as like all the seeds that have been planted or the one seed that has been planted, but look at all the roots that have grown. Is actually the better way to look at it. And now you have this tree that's coming up and you still have to keep watering it and making sure it has enough sunlight. But this is a stage in you know, along the path of manifestation where you're assessing, is this the right way to go? And when it's coupled with the Ace of Cups reversed and the Two of Wands reversed, well, that has us in that realm of, do I really love doing this? I've been doing it for quite some time. I Do I want to keep doing it? Or do I want to find a different way to do it? Which would move you forward into like the Eight of Pentacles where you're actually like really doing it. <laughs> and there's a lot of, you know, craft, you know, the craft and skills that come in with the, with the eights. They're very, very powerful cards. The sevens have us in a place of um, reevaluating, reassessing, and trying to determine what it is that we really want to do. Some of the key words for the seven of pentacles is, uh, you know, hard work and planning. And being patient, you can see he's very, very patient. And it's definitely a card of achieving your goals. But if your heart's not in it, then we've got a problem. And so the question is, how do we keep nurturing the goal that we're in and open our heart to it? Sometimes it's just the intention of opening to uh, the... the uh, the feelings of love in no matter what we do in our day-to-day -day little, you know, I mean, I, I can tell you, I, I don't really like, um, what, what's my thing I hate the most around the house? <laughs> I actually don't hate any of it, but I'm trying to think of what, um, oh, I know, breaking down boxes for recycling. Uh, let me think of some other things. i um, I don't know. Unloading the dishwasher isn't one of my favorite things either. <laughs> Taking out the trash, things like that. 
But every time I'm like in my, Ugh, I don't want to do this, I just stop usually, usually. Now, not always. I'm not perfect. But usually I stop and go, oh, my goodness, wait. I'm so grateful there's trash pickup. I'm so grateful we have that system of, of you know, I mean, it's so important. And I'm so grateful for recycling. And thank goodness I don't have to wash my dishes by hand because I have a dishwasher, right? Because it wasn't always that way. So sometimes it's just about turning around your yourself and saying, hey, wait a minute, this is what I want to get done. This is what I want to accomplish. Let's just open our hearts to being grateful for everything that we have. And we can turn that around. Now, other times when it's the Ace of Cups reversed, and especially in, you know, because we're talking about manifesting here in actual physical day-to-day -day reality and, um, you know, creating your co-creation in the universe. So if your heart's not in it, there's going to be some type of reassessment as to why. And some other keywords for the Ace of Cups reversed has to do with um, just feeling empty and then maybe sometimes getting, getting uh, like bad news around a project and, and now you don't know which way to go, coupled with the Two of Wands reversed. Uh, some other keywords might be um, something being canceled. Like you've, what if you've been putting all of your energy and lots of work into something that was, you know, somebody ordered something and now suddenly they've canceled it or maybe they want, they've rejected it and they want to send it back and you're dealing with, um, you know, refunds and all of those business challenges so if it's something like that, now sometimes it can also just be like pain in your heart and you're reassessing, oh my goodness, how did I get here and what do I need to change? And then other times it can be a breakup and then you're looking at, oh my goodness, what, what do I need to change within me so that I can either reconcile with this person who's one, who has broken up with me or maybe you've been the one that had to break up and now you're trying to reconcile your, you know, your differences within you that ha have been um, maybe where your needs weren't met, like where your real needs weren't met in relationship, which are needs of like trust and safety and um, truth, honesty, things like that. Very, you know, in the earthly realm, the things that we need in order to be in a successful relationship oh, or partnership, this, you know, partnership, relationship of any kind. Uh, but then bringing in the element of the Two of Wands, well, this is a limitation of options. When the Two of Wands is straight up, you can see the world is open, and it can sometimes be traveling. Um, but it's definitely like you, you have your one wand here that says, I'm here, I'm more than enough, and I want to do something with my life. But when when it comes in reversed, we have to look at, Oh goodness, maybe our options are limited in this one area. Uh, and, and it can have to do with, especially if it was a relationship and a partnership, you realize you can't really move forward the way you want to because there is such uh, limitations. And I'm thinking it's more around the areas of, uh, is this person or these people trustworthy? Some other options when it's the Two of Wands reversed, um, this can be like travel problems because, of course, you know, we've got the travel um, element here in this card. So this might be uh, just the um, shipping problems if, if it's a, if it's a uh, you know, business like that. Or if it's a relationship issue, maybe now they decided that they don't want to travel. Uh, or maybe you've decided it's not a good time to travel. And you're reassessing your values. Again, you're, you're just going back inside and you're, um, you're planning. This is actually a good card. I'm glad this one isn't reversed. Although, you know, I mean, we can always work through anything no matter what it is. But with the Two of Wands reversed uh, and coupled, especially with this Ace of Cups, it's like for some reason or another your heart wasn't in it or your heart has been hurt 
and or there's been just like some bad news at the very least and it has affected the way that you're thinking about moving forward uh, because this would have to do with like a lack of progress so if this is just temporary whatever whatever this is for you just know that it's temporary and it, it will pass and I'm um, if we were to take these these two cards and turn them right side up what can change is that if you open your heart to what you really want and you honor that place where you deserve to be met in what it is that you want because you've certainly worked really hard for it then you can move forward in a brand new way where you have some new plans and yeah, of course, there's still going to be some wait and see, because that's just the, you know what the Two of Wands is all about. But for the most part, uh, it's it's really getting in touch. I think the key here is just to focus so much on this uh, Seven of Pentacles, where we really get get in touch with what it, what our goals are. What do we really really want? Because you know our goals can change. You you can have you can have one big goal, and then you find out well, okay, well I changed my mind. I want to do it differently, or I decide I don't want to do this part of it that I thought I would be open to doing. You know anything to get there. Now I've realized no, I don't want to, or maybe maybe you've decided uh, because of the time you know the the, the time considerations and the energy that you need to raise your prices or maybe <clears throat> maybe your prices were too high in the beginning like from the get-go like right out of the gate and uh, you're realizing oh people aren't aren't going to you know want my service if it's if it comes at such high of a cost so I'm reevaluating because I'm kind of stuck and sometimes that's just temporarily it's uh, sometimes it has to do with um, you know the times that we're going through um, so it's going to you're gonna to have to you know dig deep down inside to figure out what it is for you what works and what doesn't and I would say with the seven of Pentacles it's really good when it when we're in the realm of Pentacles it's always a good idea to um, make a list and you know get inside your like business plan or if it's just a relationship, not just, but you know, in any relationship, if you're having trouble getting your real needs met and you're reevaluating, then make a list of what's good about the relationship and what hasn't worked. And then maybe you can go to your partner and, and have some open-hearted communication. And then from there, new plans could be made, or you can decide together whether or not it's even going to work. Because sometimes, sometimes, well, oftentimes, we have issues in relationship, and this is really important, where um, the issues come up because, not, not because the other person you know, didn't wholeheartedly, you know, try or, or uh, you know, actually love you, it can be that they didn't know themselves well enough. And like, let's say, let's say a couple gets together and um, they both thought that they wanted marriage or, you know, marriage and family. And then let's say you get married and it's wonderful, and, but then something changes within one person and they decide that they don't want to be a parent or some life change happens, you know, to them and then the plans are plans are put off with the two of wands, things can be put off and delayed. Even, you know, decisions. And this is definitely a card of decisions. All the sevens are, you know, decisions and tests. So sometimes it's just you know, something that couldn't be known until a person goes through certain experiences for them to figure out what it is that they really want moving forward. So sometimes it can be very sad and, and you know, painful to the heart, but we have to go through it and love ourselves through the process. That's, I think, always the big test. 
you know, we have decisions to move forward and, and we do have to weigh our options and we do have to pay the price and we do know, we have to know that there's always a disadvantage to every advantage. I So like in partnerships, for instance, you know, the, the advantage is, is that you have a partner. The disadvantage is, is that they're, they're not always going to be perfect or be there for you and sometimes they literally may break your heart. I... Um, but if we keep opening to loving ourselves and loving them, then we can make a completely new path forging forward. And we can really get somewhere. Yeah. So I think that's it. I don't think I want to complicate that last message with any more words. <laughs> I think that that's it. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Um, take good care. We'll be back for uh, tomorrow's. Okay. Take care.